Hello, hello, today I'm going to explain you the elapsed time controller of your diver's watch. Analog, uh, analog diving watches will often feature a rotating bezel. This is a bezel that allows for an easier reading of elapsed time of under one hour from a specific point. Uh, this is used to compute the length of a dive. Upon entering the water, the diver aligns the zero on the bezel with the minute. So, we will do that. Rotate it, left turn. Adrian. Okay, on the minute. Adrian. Yes, yes. Got it. Now it's set. You see? Minute and the rotate able bezel. So this saves the diving, the diver having to remember the exact water entry moment and having to perform air thematic that would be necessary if the watch regularly dial was used. On diving watches, the bezel is un directional i.e. it contains a ratchet so it can only be turned anti-clockwise to increase the apparent elapsed time. Should the bezel be unintentionally rotated further during the dive. Cool. This is an important failsafe feature. If the bezel could be turned clockwise, this could suggest to a diver that the elapsed time is shorter than reality. This uh, indicating a famously short elapsed time reading. And therefore, failsly short saturation period. An assumption that can be highly dangerous. Some diving watch models features a lockable bezel to minimize the chance of unintentional bezel operation under water. If you finish your dive, you can rotate it back to 12 o'clock position. Yeah! Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And see you next time. Soon, soon.